Hi dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Z and we do all tons of fun feminine content on this channel. And today we are going to be transforming my Christmas coffee bar into Valentine's Day. So let's go ahead and hop right in. First things first, we have to start out by cleaning out all of the Christmas stuff, you guys. I am so sad to see it all go. I was just so obsessed with it. If you guys didn't get a chance to check out that video, please do check that out. I will leave it linked in the description box below for you dolls. So I'm just taking everything down. I did go with like a vintage coffee bar this year and I debated on doing like a Christmas Valentine's Day vintage coffee bar but I quickly decided against it um, I decided I wanted to go all out for the Valentine's Day theme so that is what we're going to be doing I am so obsessed with these little cute gift boxes that I added to that I was sure to make sure that I put those aside for next year because I probably will be using them again let me know in the comments below how you guys are doing this new year let me know how your 2024 is going so far um, and also let me know if you guys celebrate Valentine's Day or not. I'm a single girl, so I will be celebrating Valentine's Day. Um, so <laughs> that is the content you guys will be getting over here. Okay, dolls, I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling. I hope this video gives you some inspiration for how you can decorate your space for Valentine's Day. Please do let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of my coffee bar this year. Let me know if anything that I did inspired you. I love hearing from you, dolls. I got these cute sweetheart mugs from Walgreens, I believe, last year, Valentine's Day. So if you dollars are looking for them, check out Walgreens because that is where I got them from. I did place a pickup order online. I got this heart garland, I believe, from either Hobby Lobby or Home Goods. I can't remember. I did do a little DIY and tie the little tool pieces in between the hearts to make it a little bit more fluffier so that's what you guys are seeing there and the tool is actually from the Dollar Tree it's just like a pink tool with like pink dots on it it also comes in red as well if you guys are on the hunt for it baby I love you say wish I put it now on a taste got my heart beating I need BP and feel like a track I'm racing must be love the way it's palpitating nobody working me up like you do that's why you fall in my head I didn't have any extra command hooks so I just hung this up with tape. I did end up having to reposition it a few times but it did stay up once it was hung. I got this canister from Target last year. It's so freaking cute. I can't wait to put marshmallows in it. This gumball machine candy dish is from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to fill it with some candies. I chose these heart sweet and sour hairball gummy hearts. I got these from Target and they are so freaking good you guys. You have to try them if you have not. I filled this dish with some conversation hearts. The dish is from Hobby Lobby. I did end up painting the lid pink last year. I actually hate conversation hearts. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys like conversation hearts or no? I hate them. But they're so cute for an aesthetic. 
I then decided to go in and just glue bows on everything you guys I don't know what I was thinking I was just like girl everything needs a bow and everything needs hearts and it's gonna make everything look so much better and I'm actually happy I did I did kind of go off the deep end with it but I love it so so much I love how different it is from anything else that I've seen and yeah I'm so excited about the way it's coming out so far I love the way you say Wish I could I don't wanna taste it Got my heart beating, I need BP And feel like a track, so I'm racing Must be love the way it's palpitating Nobody working me up like you do That's why you fall in my head Straight you, you like it, like it You like a movie Not really liking this situation I think it's just something about the red candies That are throwing this off I don't know, I just kind of don't Yeah, yeah, yeah through my mind Okay, so now that I have all of my big pieces in place, this is where I start experimenting and just moving things around and seeing what feels right to me. This is pretty much my process for decorating. I lay down my big statement pieces and then I kind of go in with the little details. I switch things in and out. It gets really, really tedious and annoying, but I love it doing it this way because at the end of the day, it's my space and it's important to me that I like the way it feels. So right now I'm just taking out the candy canes that was in this little house canister and I'm actually going to fill that with hot cocoa but I have to get groceries girl <laughs> so once the groceries come in I'll fill that with hot cocoa I'm filling in this canister with some sour patch hearts you guys and I love sour patches they're one of my favorite candies so I had to get those and I also had some M&Ms that I didn't get to use in here um, and then I have this heart like I guess you would call this a placemat I can't remember where I got it from last year and then this little teacup I'm showing you guys um, I wanted to put it on my tier tray but I just didn't know what I was gonna put on my tier tray at the moment so I was still trying to figure out what the theme was gonna be I did go ahead and add a white lace doily on top of that heart shaped um, placemat just to give it a more of a coquette feel I was definitely going for like a coquette girly um, hearts sweetheart theme at first I wanted to do a Paris theme but I think I'm gonna save that for something else that you guys will see later I went ahead and added these napkins that I got from home goods last year on this little shelf the shelf by the way is from Target I have this cute bakeware set that I got from Target a long time ago but I never got to use it so I'm gonna try to use it this year so I put that in the drawer along with some of my hot cocoa bombs you guys Target has the cutest hot cocoa bombs I also found my cute little Valentine's Day coasters these are the only coasters I have for Valentine's Day and they're by Ray Dunn not a huge fan of the Dunn but it's all I have so I'm gonna use them I played around with the organization and did end up adding some sprinkles as well into the drawer. This is where I'm going to keep all of my coffee bar supplies. Next I added in these cute ornaments. This came straight off of my Christmas tree from last year and I thought it was so cute. It's like little macarons and I couldn't think of what to put on that shelf so I thought that was the perfect thing. I did find these Valentine's Day rose light up hearts from Hobby Lobby. Um, I hate to do be a buzzkill, but they actually did not end up working. So I will have to take these back and exchange them. I was so excited about them. My plan was to put them inside of this little uh, ceramic truck, which you guys will see here in a minute. Upon putting the batteries in, as you guys will be able to see <laughs> right about now, they just did not come on. They yeah. Work. So here's the little truck I was telling you guys about and I wanted to put the light up roses in the back of them. That would have been so cute. Um, so I am going to go ahead and exchange them. Hopefully the next set I get will actually work. But it still looks cute even with the lights not working. My night, my 
This cute love letter decor is actually from Hobby Lobby of last year, so I'm just going to play around with this tiered tray until I figure something out. This cute little love bird is actually from Target last year. They actually have the love birds at Hobby Lobby this year. They're a little bit bigger in size, but it's still the exact same design. I also have another love letter. like It's more of like a vase because it can actually hold things. I remember last year I put my Q-tips in them, and I think I might put flowers in them this time. Um, but yeah, I got that from Hobby Lobby as well. As you guys can see, I'm just playing around with a bunch of stuff I already have. I had like this little cake ornament and then I remembered I had this little guy from Hobby Lobby and I was so excited until I realized, oh no, <laughs> it's too tall. You guys, my heart was broken in tiny little pieces, but I will be using her somewhere else. I did pick up this little rolling pin from Hobby Lobby this year and I tried to place her and I just wasn't it wasn't giving what it was supposed to be gave you know I just wasn't feeling it and I think it was just the wood in it that was throwing me off so I did end up taking that off you guys will see a little bit later I did a quick little DIY with it just to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing with the coffee bar this little love sign is from the dollar spot of Target last year and I spray painted it gold and then these little things you guys these little milkshake shots I actually made I DIY these last year so I will be sure to link that video below for you guys so you can check them out in case you want to make these for yourself but they are so freaking cute um, and they're really really easy to make so I'm just playing around with these trying to see if I could just fill some space with them they're great for that Baby, yeah. Yeah, you're my favorite, yeah. and then I found this cute little creamer vase what would you call this what is this called it's like a cream pour what is it I don't know but I found that at Ross I glued a bow on it because we're gluing bows on everything and I added the pink straws with the little lips that are from the 99 cents only store if you guys are interested and this is the way that everything came out I'm so so happy with it please do you guys let me know like I said in the comments below what was your favorite part oh I did add those macarons on there too I forgot to show that Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of this coffee bar. I love, love, love you dolls. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye dolls. There's nothing better than that. Baby girl, back in a bag, yeah. Thank you, thank you. You're like a movie. Keep it right